What's going on guys? We're back at it with another one and today we're at the Seven Mile Bridge. We're actually here, Chris is with me. We're actually here a couple days ago on our way to Key West. We stopped for like two hours of fishing. Weather was on and off rain. Uh, didn't do so well with the fishing part. Went to Key West, had a little fun in Key West. Now we're coming back to do the serious part of the trip. Where we're going to be fishing the Seven Mile Bridge and the bridges around Marathon and Almorada. Long story short, Chris owes me five bucks. So if you think that he should pay me back the five bucks, drop a comment down below saying yes or no or whatever you want to say. But let's get into the video. If you don't think I owe Jer <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you tell Jersey and a fella I won't pay him. I can't even say it. I'm like, my mind's like dumb. <laughs> Try number three. Right. If you comment that I don't owe Jersey and a fella five bucks, I'll pay you 10 bucks. <laughs> Shout out to Lower Keys Bait and Tackle again for hooking us up with some jumbo shrimp. And we're gonna get our first cast going on here. And let's see where this ends up. That's perfect. Yep, absolutely perfect. And something just took off when I cast it. I literally hit something in the head, dude. All right, we're gonna loosen up our drag and we're going to wait for hopefully a yellow jack to come through or something good. Yeah, it's a big fish. All right, guys, we're on to something. No, oh, it's snagged now. No way. It's snagged. It's snagged. I don't feel it. Dude, what's going on? I don't know what's happening. I just feel it. My braid going through stuff. There it is. They're coming through. All right, it may or may not be hooked up. I'm not really sure what's going on. Dude, what is happening? Ah, oh, it broke off. I hear something. Something nice. Guys, I have no idea what's happening. Like literally, zipping line reel down on it it's snagged and then for like over five minutes i'm reeling in and i feel the braid rubbing up against rocks don't know what snapper <laughs> oh yeah 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 dude a hog snapper yes dude Chris just got a hogfish. Yes! I think it's gonna be short. But I think so too, but we'll measure it. Let's do that now before I forget. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's not laying flat. That. That's not, so close. Not worth it. All right, guys, it's 15 and three quarters inches. It's a quarter of an inch off. That's unbelievable. Let's look at that beautiful hog snapper. Check it out the gear on this thing. Your mouth's gonna open up like grunts too. See that? Pretty cool. Awesome, beautiful fish. Like I said, quarter of an inch short, that's okay. Chris, send him back home. He doesn't need to be out of the water much longer. Yeah. Yes, sir. See you, bud. And he's off. He went <laughs> flying under there. Yes, dude, <laughs> nice job. All right, things may be picking up for Chris and I. I need to retie this rod, unfortunately because I broke off. I don't even know what happened. Like I was reeling through, you know, I was reeling through structure for I, five minutes. I could, I was watching you. I'm like pulling, pulling. Like there's a cave system down there that I'm ripping a fish out of. Instant, I just cast in and instantly got a fish on. Got to try to keep it away from that dark hole where that cuda is. It's a big fish. Nice, dude. It's a big yellow jack, giant yellow jack, dude. Big, big yellow jack. No! Oh! Swinging him up, he fell off. It was this big. All right. 
maybe you got a glimpse of that, maybe you didn't, but it was a giant yellow jack that I just had on. And that's what happens when you take the risk of swinging up fish, is that they fall off. So let's get another shrimp on and see if we can catch another yellow jack. Never seen Jersey NFL run this fast, did you? Nice. Please, no cuda. I see it running out there. Oh, it broke off. Really? It was a it was a yellow jack or something first, then a cuda. He saw me run. Now I'm completely out of breath. I think I had something good on, and then the cuda came by and got it. But who knows? I got broke off on a rock for sure down there. I don't think the cuda bit through that. I'm gonna get a new shrimp for my other rod, cast it out, and then I'm gonna retie this. Things are just starting to pick up like hours later, right? Yeah. I don't know. Well, we're gonna hang out for a little bit and see what happens. There you go, Chris. Yeah. To the rocks. Yep. To the rocks. Got it. Nice, dude. What do you got there? Small. Small yellow jack? Yeah, mutton snapper. Nice. Snapper. Yeah, it's a mutton. Nice. Nice, dude. Definitely not a keeper, but nice. All right, we haven't landed a fish in a while, did we? Land? Yeah, we landed that hog snapper. Chris is the only one to land fish. That's a little mutt in there, which is really nice. Yep, let me go get Chris some pliers and we'll get back to you. Beautiful mutt and snapper. Let's send him back home. See you, bud. Hopefully, no cuda gets you. There he goes, maybe. No, he's up, he's straight up. There he is. Yeah, he's swimming. Have to tighten my drag 30 million times here. Yep. Nice. Nice. Got something on. He's definitely in rocks. Fighting good. Feels good, dude. I see it now. What is that? Is that a bonefish? No, it's a shark. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's a bonnet head shark. No, okay. Man. Might have to for this. No, 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 no. Go cast out, go cast out. Go cast out, yeah. All right, got him up. Just a bonnet head shark. Haven't caught one of those in a little while. All righty, whew. Little bonnet head head shark going on. Let's try not to get hurt. All right, there he is, check him out. Very cool shark, let him not whip me in the nuts. You might grab me the pliers. a female yeah chris i'll get a picture with it when you get a chance yeah i must going out for that Indeed. check wait whoa he has real shark teeth in there and we're going to get a quick picture all right beautiful animal we're going to send him back home we're going to send him over here so he gets chris's line see you bud and he's off there he goes <laughs> he's a little confused he'll be okay i promise it Oh yeah, there we go, fish on, fish on. Feels like a good fish too. And try to keep them high up so we don't snag up on any rocks. Can't tell what it is yet. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh no, Kuda. 
Oh wow, look at the size of this one. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Check out the size of this cowfish, boxfish thing. Holy crap. That's unbelievable. Dude, it's the biggest that's, one I've ever seen. That's four times the size <laughs> of the biggest one I've ever seen. Oh my God, guys. I'm not really sure how to handle this. Because if you look in the back there, you see those spines? See in the very back corner, Chris? Yeah. God, mighty, we don't have a rag either. Phew! Pretty. And that kudo almost got him. Of course, my sinker is stuck on my uni knot. Okay, let's see if I can get pliers. Oh my God, I never seen one like that, dude. That's a big boy. All right, he came off the hook, apparently by himself. I was just coming down to get the pliers. But I am going to use the pliers to pick him up. Check out that thing, guys. He lost all of his color since he's been at the surface, but just check that out. That's a Mondo one. Now, will these spines down here, drop me a comment, these spines down here will really mess me up. I'd like to know, and I don't want to find out the hard way. Chris, can you get a picture? Yeah. Oop. Yeah. Oh, he's getting his color back. Look at that, guys. All right, we're going to get this guy back in. He's been out of the water long enough. Thank you, bud. See ya. <laughs> All right, guys. Apparently, I have another fish down this way. Let's see what's going on here. Just checking bait on the other rod. And I'm snagged. Damn. I'm snagged. Yeah. All right. We are on to something. It's going this way. What do we got? That's a shark. All right, it's another shark. It's a bonnet head. Another bonnet head. Another big bonnet head. You need the net? Probably for this thing. This one's too big to swing. All right. Seen better days, right? Yeah. Oh God, sorry. We got to make sure tomorrow that's not the case. I'm low key, low key hoping a barracuda comes and eats this thing. Oh, dude, look at the size of this jack valves. Look at the size of jack valves around him. Oh my God. You want to try? I'm saying to catch the jacks. I don't know where the shark went. Shark's under the bridge. Dude, the whole thing is just a mess. <laughs> Literally, it's tied around the like the arms of it. And it's like looped around itself and through the black rope. Yeah, I'm right in front of the bridge. So. Go down this way. Go down that way. Got him. Okay. Oh, come on, bro. Shark. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Everything's going wrong, guys. It's a big bottom of that, huh? Yeah. Woo. Big shark outdoors, huh? Woo. All right. Probably going to need the pliers. It's traffic But guys, we just, I just saw a massive permit as Chris was untangling that net. So hopefully the permit goes for one of his shrimps over here, or my shrimp. Man, Chris, it was like that. Yeah. Whew. Yes. Just cruising right up. Dude, as the shark's going crazy, all of a sudden I see jacks. And then I look over to the left, there's a permit just meandering around. So here is the bonnet head shark. It actually unhooked itself as I was getting the pliers. We're gonna get this thing back in so it's not out of the water too long. Make sure it's in one of these cuts. See ya. All right, 
right, Chris has got something here. What do you got? Keeper? No. All right. First fish, we actually moved. We didn't mention that we moved, but we did move down away a little bit to this deeper channel. And Chris got the first fish here, and it's a nice little mangrove, probably about two inches off from being a keeper. All right, let's get him back in, see what we can do. Yep. Yep, exactly. There we go. Got one. Probably just a little mangrove snapper, can't really tell. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Look at this, Chris. How come I could outfish you? You steal my spot. <laughs> Let's try not to get sliced up by this thing. First fish for me at the new spot, little baby mangrove. Let's toss them in, see ya. Let's see if there is a Mondo snapper somewhere out in this, out in these parts. Phew. Kaboink. Instant. Ooh, well, what's that sitting down towards the bottom there? I don't know where it went, but as soon as you're railing it up, he came and looked at what you were doing. I got one too. Took a little, a minute there to get him to bite, but here he is, just a little guy. Probably just gonna try one or two more shrimp and then we're gonna proceed on to check into our next hotel for the night. Just because we were out pretty late last night in Key West and that's all I gotta say about that. So yeah, and we didn't have any food today, little to nothing to drink. So we are beaten tired. It is like almost 6.30 and by the time we pack up the truck, it'll be like seven. And then by the time we get to the hotel, it'll be like eight. So. And we still got to get food. So we got to make sure that this place that we're stopping at is still going to be open by the time we get up to Almorada. So yeah, so let's do two more shrimp, including this one. And then we're going to proceed on and leave. Today has come to an end. Uh, had quite a mixed bag. Got, like I said, just one yellow jack really. But I don't know, what else we got? Mutton snapper, hog snapper, bonnethead shark, boxfish, mangrove snapper, mango snappers, yellow jack. So it was a pretty cool day. Like I said, multi-species stuff that you don't see every day when you come here, especially that hog snapper. That was the best catch of the day. That was really cool. But a heartbreaker is every time I go to either reeling a fish or now we're leaving, a big permit comes by. Not really prepared for a permit. We don't have a cork with us. We don't have crabs with us. They will eat shrimp off the bottom, but maybe tomorrow we'll get some crabs. We'll see. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and my friends, always stay fishing, and we'll see you on the next one.